Well, good day. This is going to be a quick little video on how to create an account in the Scratch website. So you go to this website, scratch.mit.edu, and it's going to look something like this. At least it looks this way in June of 2020 when I'm making this video. And all you want to do is... Now, if you already have an account, then you don't have to create another account just for my class. If you already have an account and you know what the password for that old account is, you can go ahead and use your old account. But if you don't have an account, or if you forgot the password of your old account, you're going to have to create a new account. So we're going to join Scratch right here. Join Scratch. It says what's your username, and I recommend you put in your ID number. Don't put in my ID number. You put in yours. Here's an example. That might be your username. Never put in your real name or even part of your real name. So I recommend putting in your ID number. That's the safest thing. Then it says create a password. It says you can show the password as you're typing. But I'm going to turn that off just for this video. You could leave yours on. And you put in your password. And I recommend you put in your regular, everyday, school password that you use to get into the school computers. Then you have to retype it. Like that. And down here we do next. What country do you live in? They want you to select a country, and I'm going to select the United States of America. Next. When were you born? So you're going to put in your month and your year. So maybe you were born in January, and maybe you were born in 2010, or whenever you were born, you put whatever you want. You could even lie. It doesn't really matter. But I'm putting in that next. Well, I think I'm a male, so I'm going to choose that next. This is the most important part. I want you to put in the email address that I give you right here, right now. Don't put in your real email address, and certainly do not put in your school email address. So the email address I want you to put in is mc10student at gmail.com. That's going to be the email address for our class. The only reason to have an email address is so that if you forget your password and you're locked out, somebody can unlock your account for you. And so I want that to be me. This is my email address to unlock Scratch accounts. So please, I'm asking you, please use my email address. And then create your account. It says, Welcome to Scratch, and it gives you your login name. It says you're now logged in. You can start exploring and creating projects. If you want to share and comment, click the link in the email that has just been sent out to MC10 student. That's me. Get started. And here we are. Here's your account. And this one says my stuff. That's the stuff you've made so far. They've already sent you a message that probably says welcome. Let's go see what it says. Sure enough, welcome to Scratch, blah, blah, blah. These are all the projects that you've made so far. You haven't made any projects so far. It says you have to confirm your email to enable sharing. So that's what I, Mr. Lushenko, have to do for you. That's why I gave you my MC10 student Gmail account. So that might take me a day, especially if you're doing this in the middle of the night. It might take me a day to confirm your email address, so you're not going to be able to share anything right away. So that'll go away the next time you log in after I confirm your email address for you. So I'm just going to do this little X right here. And I'm ready to go. All right, that's all you have to do for this assignment is just create an account. You can sign out if you want to. Or you can just close up the tab. I'm going to do sign out. Okay? That's about all there is to it.